This is the fourth workbook in the Edible Knowledge Workbook series, Introduction to Physics and Engineering, and it uses Lego bricks as the tool for the experiments. Let's take a look what's inside. So, the next one, here's the bricks part. And this is also new, it only came out in December of uh, 2019, getting great re reviews and response on this, Introduction to Physics, and engineering and this one uses Lego bricks to as the experiments so it's organized in the same fashion as the others as the other edible knowledge workbooks and this is still an edible knowledge workbook as I'll show you um, where do they go there they are okay so they look they look very familiar um, you have your experiments well let me start off here so these use this kind of uh, Lego. It's the Technic Legos, um, or Lego bricks, which have uh, gears and axles and universal joints, and they move. Um, so you can actually build, uh, a lot of people don't think they're actually Lego, uh, uh, official Lego bricks or elements, but they are. They're manufactured by the Lego group, and uh, they're a lot of fun. I didn't know it, but I actually ended up with one of the very first of these sets way back when I was 12, 11, 12, something like that is when they first started making them. And uh, I still have a lot of those pieces. These things last forever. So organized in the same way though, whoops, I went the wrong way. Um, oh, let me back up one. So at the beginning of the book, uh, I describe parts, pieces, and terminology. So how are uh, these things described. For example, axles, they're different lengths, and how are they described? Well, it's by the number of studs. Just in, in this example, this one is an eight stud axle. So if you lay it next to a thing here, it's eight, these little round circles, they call it a stud. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight long. This one's only six, and that's what they call it. It's a six stud axle. And then design numbers and item numbers. So in this case, uh, this two stud brick with a hole in it is design number 3700 and so is this one but they're different colors so this item number takes it a step further and that one signifies a red one of those a red 3700 and this one, this item number 37023 or 370023 uh, specifies a blue one of those so I understand a lot of people a lot of you have a lot of bricks probably a lot of lego bricks at home and uh, uh, so i have in here a, a detailed parts list of what you need in order to build all of the models and i have 16 custom models that i've developed as part of this book so you can go through this list and see what you've got see what you might be missing and where it's missing i have exactly where to go to get them directly from lego and uh, it's a it's an easy thing to do I, um, I'm not going to be providing the kits as an ongoing basis at this time because I can't. I have to buy them retail from Lego and then try and repackage them and sell them to you. And I, it's cheaper for you just to go do it on your own. Um, I do uh, trying to make things as easy as possible for people. I do have some of those because I started down that path and I have just a, just some of those left. I think right now I have 14. Um, at some point I'll I have some extra pieces of one of them and I'll, I'll probably make a few more but that's it uh, otherwise just look through what you've got and if you're if you're missing some then you can go and buy them directly from these two sites I have it all explained exactly in there as to what to do there are a few non Lego parts however you need a wooden dowel of a certain diameter and wood and length then you need some micro paracord of a certain length and a certain size of a rubber band. Now those ones, I can buy those in bulk and put that together into a little kit and provide it to you inexpensively and it'll be much less trouble for you um, just to buy that kit. So I would highly recommend that wherever you get the book, go onto my website and get this little kit. It's inexpensive and uh, you'll be set to go there and then you can do however you want to with the uh, with the the Lego bricks themselves. Um, if there's any of the kits left on my site, I get them while they last. So, into the chapters, organized the same way. Uh, principles are described. Got your text boxes, video boxes, um, illustrations, 
uh, most of which I, I created on my own. And then you get into the experiments, and in this case, instead of in the kitchen, uh, you're building these Lego models, and again, there's 16 of them. So the beginning of each one, the parts that you need, and then you get into the building of them. And I just I have a series of pictures that you follow from this way, and then that way, and building them, and then procedures on what you do um, to experiment with them to help understand the pr physics principles that they're demonstrating. And then again at the end, a discussion that talks about uh, what you saw and what you may not have seen and how that relates to physics if you didn't quite get it. Here's another one. It's my wife, by the way, demonstrating one of them. Uh, and then at the end, again, a what do you think section with the uh, journaling idea, well, questions, journaling ideas, and a chapter review with the deep think questions. Um, a lot of the models are based on simple machines because they teach physics very well. Uh, but you build these simple machines using the using the Lego bricks. Uh, just interestingly here, this one I'm talking about uh, leverage, but uh, use an example here of uh, a video of us taking care of a downed tree. So this is actually a picture of me and my son that my wife took. We had a huge oak come down last year, and we we took it took a lot of videotape of uh, of us taking care of it with different types of machines. So fit right into this book. So levers of all different kinds. And then you build them. First class levers. Second class levers. And those were kind of interesting to make in a way that you could experiment with them and move them around and demonstrate how uh, where to put the load so that it's effective, more effective than and more of a mechanical advantage than other configurations. It was a lot of fun figuring out these, building these uh, um, models. Third class levers. Here's my son's arm. He's a buff dude, right? Uh, incline planes, wedges. And then a, a model that you can use to experiment with different angles. This is what's called a par buckle, which I had never heard of before. And that just as an aside, I was uh, this book was a lot a lot of fun for me because food science is my expertise, and I have a fairly deep knowledge of food science. But I've, while I've taken physics and engineering classes as part of my food science training, I'm not a, I'm not an engineer or a uh, physicist, so I had to go back and review some of that stuff and then dig into some things that I didn't know at all and that was a lot of fun because I enjoy learning and uh, uh, it was a lot of fun putting this book together. Wheels and axles, pulleys, building a pulley tower, transfer of energy so gears and axles, gear ratios, driver and follower gears, um, a lot of fun stuff I think uh, but educational at the same time. And again, the discussion is fairly deep, so it's not superficial. Yes, you do get to mess around with Lego bricks, but uh, uh, you're learning quite a bit at the same time. Now, it's an edible knowledge uh, book. So how can physics and engineering be an edible knowledge book? Well, at the end, I have one food science experiment unapologetically as a hook for those who are buying these things, this book just for, uh, for playing with uh, Lego bricks as a hook to get you interested in food science and into my other uh, books. So this is uh, fun with gelatin and enzymes. There's actually a very similar one that's in the uh, Food Science for Kids book. Um, but just just as a hook to, to try it out and perhaps get you interested in the other things. Uh, I tr did do something a little different for this one that I don't have in the first two and eventually I might go back and do or at least provide something online. I have hints, hints for the chapter review questions. Um, so I, I probably will come up with something like that and put it online for the first two books. Well, there you have it. Introduction to Physics and Engineering. Give it a try. Your kids will love it. <laughs>